to it. Welcome back to Norris Code. If you're new here, I am Yoshida. I'm a self-employed hairstylist. I'm also the owner of Norris Cove, which is an online budgeting and planning stationary e-commerce store. But today, you guys, I don't know. I wanted to kind of do a quick flip of my mini HP because I need to change her out, kind of prep her for June and take some months out. And um, I think I'm gonna do a flip and then I kind of wanted to do a plan with me because I wanted to kind of get back to some of my planning videos. I do have a budget video coming as well, um, prepping for June, all that great stuff. But it's almost time for me to do the budget box. So I have a few minutes while I am printing out some things. So I wanted to see how, um, I can just squeeze this in real quick. So I'm gonna do a quick flip. Oh, and since the last time y'all saw her, she has a new dress. I got this off of Macari. This is what I've been looking for. It is like the soft folios from Cloth and Paper. It's black. And in the pockets here, I got this card from May Paper Co. This card, May Paper Co. This card came from Pretty Press in an order, and those I ordered from May Paper Co. Um, here, I have these little clear cards. It used to be washi cards or whatever. I use them to stick little mini sticky notes on and then just put them in here so that um, I can kind of reach for them without bulking up my planner and then I have this one from Villa Beautiful and then these gold cards with a, something stuck on the back of there. Um, I think that's Sessa V. Then here I have this bougie um, pin from Lena over at Rose Shadow Collection. It's like a magnet. Y'all know what the cover is from. This is a dashboard that will be in our June, I mean, excuse me, May budget box. And on the back, I have this from Poi and Hun. These two sticky notes are from Poi and Hun. Okay, and sorry about the glare, y'all. So then I have also this dashboard from Cloth and Paper. I am probably won't cover every place everything came from. Um, some things are probably recognizable just to kind of speed it up so we'll have time to do a plan with me. Um, task delegation, cloth and paper. All my dividers are from cloth and paper. Overview, cloth and paper. Um, these uh, one month on a page are from my shop. And then this I got in some swag from DC Planicon. So I just stuck it there. It's kind of cute. And then these calendars are from cloth and paper. And this is my May overview. This is my May monthly layout. These clips came from Rose Shadow Collection. Love them. I want more. Okay. And then this is June. I'm kind of prepping June just a little bit. So you see I have just one thing down, which is my tax extension for business. And don't really have anything else. So next after the calendar. And I have up until... Uh, December in here. I like to have my monthlies like for the full year if I can. Um, schedule dash um, divided by cloth and paper. This dashboard is from Rose Shadow Collection. And then next we get into my timed weekly schedule. This is from my shop. Now this one um, I redid for myself. I saw a little boo-boo so I never offered it. If I can figure out how to fix the boo-boo and the boo-boo is very very small. I'm gonna see if you can tell the difference but well, I'm going to leave this one in and I'm going to show you. But this was from April. See, I need to take April out. And that's why I wanted to do this quick flip. So, yeah, I redesigned it so that you could list things over here. I like to put my totals for the week over here. And then there is a graph over here. And what I like about the graph section is I can do um, habit tracking here. I just make up some habit tracking. And then this is the current week coming, the May 20th through the 26th. So I just stuck this calendar here. Um, I got this from May Paper Co. And then, so this is what it looks like plain. Again, here is the boo-boo. So I'll see if y'all can see. 
um, I don't know how it got misconstrued, but the numbers should be down here on this side like they are. This this side should look like this side. But um, yeah, so that's a little small boo-boo. But if you're interested, you know, I can sing your invoice for it. But I love them. Besides that boo-boo, I love them. I just can't find my original file to like fix it. So yeah, this is what it's like. All right. So I got up into 12 months in here as well, as far as my schedule. And then um, a dash, I mean, divider from cloth and paper. Um, this Bonjour Vellum from May Paper Co. Uh, this is from a Rose Shadow Collection. It's like that milky white vellum. This dashboard I made for myself. And then on the back, I just did a little bit of layering. Um, Poi and Hun. This is from Pretty Prez. It's so cute. I love that. It's from Pretty Prez, May Paper Co. And then back here, I believe that's May Paper Co. as well. So I just did a little layering, something on the back. And then these are my week on a page. These are available in my shop. So I need to take like all these out, but not necessarily. And then this is what they look like blank. And then I have a few of those in there. And then we get into, I know I have a lot of weeklies. We get into um, my vertical weeklies. And this is also from my shop. When I let go of who I am, I become what I might be, Rosa Parks. And so these are the past couple of weeks. And on these up here, I have like a habit tracker as well. I have a lot of habit tracking. So this is what they've kind of looked like. And then again, I have another one of those clips from Rose Shadow Collection. And that's just clipping those together. So what I like to use these clips for is to kind of bring me to where I'm at. So like I have the clip here for um, my work schedule. Here is my monthly because I started the month. So I have my monthly. I can get to that current page of my monthly without having to use something like this. And then my current page of my schedule and then the current page of the week that I'm on. And then next we get into daily. And this is another dashboard I made for myself. I've been meaning to offer it on the website. It'll it'll make it eventually. <laughs> and then these are my dailies. Um, these are also in my shop. You've got to have faith in what you're doing and not take no for an answer. And that's Nipsey Hustle quote. And these are the dailies. So it's, I need to take some of these out to make room. And yeah, so I need to get rid of some of my dailies. And as you can see, some days I just write. I don't do anything. I try to decorate, but I overdo it, <laughs> I think. And then some days it's just pen and highlighter. Some days it's a sticky note and I wanna just add something. So I'll do something like that. And then I found myself, I kept putting flowers on them. As you can see, these two days, it was just plain. But sometimes I like it plain. And sometimes I'm like, okay, it's too plain. Let me add something. This was my birthday. I wasn't really doing that much. So I just stuck a birthday sticker there and just whatever. And then here, line, pen, and highlighter. Like I said, I overdo it sometimes. But anyway, these are my dailies. And I, for some reason, I like a black and white spread. So I have the black of the pen. These are from Paper Replanning. These teeny black dots are from my shop. And then this is from my shop. Um, this cloth and paper. And these big art stickers are from my shop with the flo florals. And then I think that is the planner, <clears throat> excuse me, the planner spot and then cloth and paper. But uh, most of the stickers I use are from my shop. And like our weather stickers here and so this is like a today dashboard so that's to separate where i am that was the 18th i tested out the cloth and paper newest graph like daily sheets and so only did i use these two days but i had this blank page so i just went back and kind of back planned as you can see it was 14th 15th 16th and then I don't know, maybe the 17th. And then we come into the 19th, which is today. I just jotted down some things of what I needed to do. I didn't do any deco, just left it. So that's all of dailies. And I like to keep a lot of those in there. And again, these are the extra ones from cloth and paper. 
and I like to leave the demo page in just in case I forget or lose sight of how I want to use it I can just refer to that and then this is one of their daily sticky notes that came in the cloth and paper May box and I just wanted to test it out kind of like it so I just have a couple in there and this is from the 16th and so that's that and then this archive dashboard was from our April box with one of our sticky notes and then these sticky notes I got from May Paper Co. Shout out to for the Planner Girls, which is Brie. I went sticker note crazy over at May Paper Co. And so I do like these. And this was like a TBB prep for me on the go. And then, um, matter of fact, I got these. Let me check these off. And these are Happy Mail stickers, um, sticky notes. I like these because I don't necessarily want a whole um, insert sometimes. So that is perfect and this is another one from a paper co and then this is just me again another tbb checklist type of thing and then this is the cloth and paper um dashboard i think we got in may box this project notes again for the budget box is from poi and home and then here are those graph pages from cloth and paper and i thought about using it as like lists or whatever also this is my notes and list section then we get into habit tracker this habit tracker is in my shop and i've been doing really good checking this out i check it every night well obviously i skipped that week a little bit but i just check it even if i don't get the things done i just go in and you know mark it so i already got next week set up and I can't remember how many pages of that you get. Then I have my task and list. I am a lister. I love to list things. And then I just have an admin task brain dump for things I need to do for Norris Cove or kind of like a trigger list for me and things I wanted to do. So I just write that down, wrote that down. And then this is like a household brain dump kind of trigger list as well. Things I want to do for my home. This is a TBB checklist, which is the budget box checklist. Things that I need to be checking for. So I just wrote that in. And then a personal and beauty list. Just some things I want to do, you know, for myself. Like a trigger or maybe say I forgot to put lotion on that day. I got lotion written down. I won't forget a shower, but just certain things little trigger list type of things and then um these are my task list inserts and these are in the shop and then this budget trigger list i think is going in the may box um but i do probably eventually make it like for um um in the shop or something like that later but uh, it's going to definitely i think it's going to be in our may budget box I haven't decided yet. Um, here's our weekly check-in. This is our minimal weekly check-in insert. And I've been using, this is the reason why I haven't been budgeting. I've been using this and it kind of works for me. Like last week, I really kind of used it um, fully and just marked things off. So that's what I've been using to budget. And then in the back, I have this little in clear pocket from cloth and paper. And sometimes I'll just use these uh, stickers. Um, there's nothing but like kind of cloth. And, they're all cloth and paper stickers. And one is mine. This is my teeny, what Mocha used to be. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's all. I love these little spotlight stickers. I'm actually thinking of getting some made just for myself or for the budget box. So um, stay tuned for that. So, yeah, that is that. And put that in here. And y'all, this is pretty much it. This is the back. Let me slide that in. So yeah, so now I can kind of go through her and she doesn't look so thick. And I just love these gold tabs. Like, they are perfect. Now, I know we got some in the cloth and paper box, but they're a little more round. I like square because it looks just a little sleek. And you don't even know that they're like clips. They look like tabs. But this is it. Oh, I forgot. And then here in the front pocket, I have a few, a lot of things. I have just some oops stickers, um, sampler stickers for people, but a lot of oops from my shop. And um, these weekly expenses, because what I'll do is I can take some of those shape stickers from cloth and paper, stick them, and then use these um, to do things. And then I have, just like I said, some oops stickers from my shop. And then I have this pretty card from Pretty Prez here with the clip. So in case I need to clip something in, 
And I think this one is from her shop as well. So that's what I have in here, just in case I have to just grab my planner, but I want to decorate and I don't have my sticker book or anything like that. But this is her, y'all. She's so chunky and I love it. Like I really thought, and she's getting messy. So if you were on my live on Instagram, you know I like a kind of a thick, chunky, kind of lived in planner. So she's getting a little lived in. And what I did was just kept using her so she could get lived in. And this cover, though, I love it. I love it. I hate I missed them when they first came out, but I love it. So I decided I'm going to do my week off camera or make a separate video for that because I really need to finish some prep for the box and I need to do my film my budget. So I got a lot of things I got to get done and maybe I'll just do it separately. But that's it, y'all. This is her. Isn't she beautiful? She's gorgeous. And even like with this cover being flimsy, when you put stuff in it, again, I don't like a hard cover, but when you put stuff in it, it becomes a little firm. So she stays. And if you just really have to have it closed, you could put a band around it. But I kind of like a folio type of situation. I mean, a claps is okay, but um, yeah, this is it. So thank you all so much for watching. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. Come back for more. Let me know in the comments that you're new so that I can welcome you to the code. And y'all have a great day. Bye.